Youngstown City Council has voted to go ahead with its plan to pay back millions that the state auditor says it misspent. Chris Serenelli explains where the money will come from and why one council member says the state left them no choice. Three years after the state auditor said the city of Youngstown violated state law when it loaned $4.4 million to local businesses, city council voted on a way to settle the matter Wednesday. Since the city had a cushion after only passing a bare bones budget, those reserves are coming to the rescue. Move some general fund money back into our water fund, wastewater fund, and enterprise sanitation fund. Which is where the money that got the city in hot water in the first place came from. But is this having your cake and eating it too? If the city is not admitting to any wrongdoing or misuse of funds, why take more than $4 million from the general fund just to satisfy the state auditor's office? Oftentimes civil, civil litigation is resolved, uh, not admitting or suggesting that we're, we're, we're agreeing with your conclusion, but that we recognize that sometimes the, the wiser course of action is to simply resolve it. We still have our law firm on retainer so willing to fight this. The auditor was threatening um, this, that, and the other, but they did nothing. They've done nothing for years. And so for two years, we've been at a standstill. McNally says the city finance director told council the auditor's office was satisfied with the move. Now with $88 million in COVID relief money coming to the city's coffers, council and the mayor's office are confident they can look forward and not over their shoulders. In Youngstown, with more local news, I'm Chris Serenelli.